on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, Rodkins Real Estate. We'll check out some cool homes and find out the deal with this wacky housing market. Plus, spooky. The nature nerd is here and it's all about spiders. And Robin's little girl is home from college and in the house. So she'll be sharing Times I've Embarrassed My Daughter on WGN-TV. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN right. Morning News at Is that just time time. she's been here or just things you've done on it's this It's just show that... the time she's been here. Okay. She's the one who has been most reluctant to come in. She hasn't been here in like 10 years, yeah. so she still hasn't her. come in the studio. <laughs> she's <laughs> still in your office hiding out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mike, how are Good you? Good morning, you guys. Well, Halloween really close. Don't worry if you haven't gotten the costume yet, because as we all know, some of the best costumes are the ones that you make yourself, like this one. All you need is a magic marker or two, and you have a fabulous oh, British no. costume. <laughs> So how about this with a cardboard box and a paper bag? You can become, that's right, the unknown robot. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it's Star Wars that's your passion, how about construction paper Chewbacca? That's a good uh, look right there. Mm. Or you can have sexy R2-D2. Take a look at that oh, one right yeah. there. Oh, yeah. And I asked talking. you, did someone say Kool-Aid? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kool-Aid wow. is here. So... Well, Fear you, not. You work with what you are given. That's yeah. exactly what you do. That's exactly what make the most of it. Thanks, Dewey. It's just nine at nine. We're going to find a way to say some things that amuse you each day. All right, number nine, we'll start with something uh, that will make your heart skip a beat. It's a quick clip that has been out there for a while, and I'll give you an explanation after we see it. Reporter Astrid Randen. Utfordringen med å få unge i arbeid er så stor at den ikke kan overlates til myndighetene oh, no. alene. Flere bedrifter må nå ta med oh, no. samfunnsansvar, sier hotellkongen Petter Stordal. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, oh. that truck has some pretty good brakes. Oh my gosh. This happened in Norway 2017, and there was a time when this clip was passed around with the title Automatic Braking System Saves Lives, but the Latvian company that owns the truck looked into the incident along with the truck manufacturer Volvo. Volvo does indeed have a great braking system for these big trucks, but they determined that it was 100% human reaction. That wow. is the incredible reflexes of the driver that saved the kid's life. Wow. And in an open letter, the trucking company noted, we would like to express our sincere gratitude for the good words and comments received from all over the world. Oh my How about God. that driver? Wow. Shouldn't, shouldn't they be recognized with uh, yeah. some kind of accolade? I guess they don't do the old bus stop arm yeah. out when kids are crossing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Whew. That makes you feel sick watching oh, it right now. Oh. oh, God. All right, number eight. Forget etiquette. Throw out that knife and fork. It's time to start eating with your hands. Professor Charles Spence says the overall physical experience heightens your meal. Hmm. Spence is an experimental psychologist at Oxford. He also believes opened mouth eating is the best way to gain maximum dining pleasure. He says it helps release more of those tiny morsels and organic compounds that contribute to our sense of smell. Hmm, open mouth eating. Huh. Yeah. Delightful. <laughs> All right, uh, number seven. Uh, Southsiders out there definitely know what an atomic cake is. The Weber's oh, uh, Bakery gosh, cake is, yeah. a, is a staple. But there are uh, probably a bunch of people who don't know that the dessert is a Chicago classic. The general agreement is that the cake was invented at Liberty Bakery, which was in Rosemont for many years but is now closed, or at Calumet Bakery, which opened in the South Deering neighborhood in 1935. Uh, it first showed up in the, in the uh, 50s, or the Atomic Age, yeah. hence the name. <laughs> ah. Right? Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, 
This cake is the bomb. <laughs> Uh, real quick, here's what's in it. It's banana cake on the bottom, topped with Bavarian custard, yep. then sliced bananas and whipped cream, then chocolate cake topped with strawberry glaze and sliced strawberries, then whipped cream and yellow cake topped with a layer of fudge. The whole thing is then covered in more whipped cream. Uh, we used to have this every year for our really? birthdays. Oh, yeah. It you should so do this good. for your retro cooking segment that Ooh, you do. Oh, yeah. I, would I don't know. That. I don't know yeah, how to no, make it. Made it. I, I mean, I ate it. Morgan. <laughs> Unlike I the other make things it. you made, which you did know how to make, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bologna cake. That's you and... get from the bakery. That uh, was right. special. I mean, you get yeah. that from the bakery for your birthday. Yeah. Either that or you go to Pop and Fresh and get a banana cream or a coconut cream pie. Right. I mean, that was big deal. Was that the only time of the year you got an atomic cake? Yeah. It had to be just a birthday. birthday. You weren't just any willy-nilly any no. Saturday getting a cake like that. Yeah. Am I right, Toomey? Did Absolute, you have any? Absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Hmm. There you go. All right, number six. This one comes from a young fella named Mike Toomey. Uh. You know what a contronym is? It's a single word that has two contradictory meanings. Here are some examples. Apology is a statement of contrition or a defensive one. Bolt, that means to secure or to flee. Oh, yeah. oh, How about bound? It means heading to a destination oh, or yeah. restrained from movement. Oh, I see. Yeah. And how about cleave? It means to adhere or to separate. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of these. It's pretty cool. That wow. is yeah. cool. I've never wow. heard of that. This is often. This is really educational yeah. Yeah. and fun. Yeah. <laughs> fun. Fun. And super it fun. It kind of yeah. is in a weird way for me. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. It was fun for me, too. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't fun. being sarcastic. It was fun. It was interesting. I like fun. learning. Some of us know. like learning. Yeah. All right. Okay. Number five. The spiders are listening. Audio scientists say spiders can use their webs to detect sounds. The web acts as a giant ear, which is a, important since spiders themselves have poor ear, hearing and eyesight. Anytime a flying insect is nearby, the web vibrates due to the buzzing sound, which in turn then gets the spider's attention. The scientists also noticed that the spiders turn their attention toward the sound when the loud music was playing near their webs. They say the study is not just important for spiders, it can also help to improve the technology for microphones and hearing aids. Oh. Coming up later, more with spiders with nature nerd Sham Otto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number four, nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious, but have you ever tried to stir the stuff? All that oil pulls to the top of the jar and it gets all over the place. Well, we found a way around it. Idiots. Use a handheld yeah, electric yeah, mixer. It gets rid of the gooey mess. Or store the jar upside down so the oil spreads more oh. evenly through the jar. And you are welcome. It's what kind of butter are you eating? Did the peanut nut butter, butter. all stay the butter. same? It's like a mixed nut butter. Yeah. Like when you make yourself? No, you buy it. But you what if you have a peanut allergy, but you still want to get the protein with the nut butter? Okay, and it separates. So what do you yeah, do? You you use oil. a hand mixer? Is that what you said? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. <laughs> you were just stuck I'm on nut stuck butter on the whole time. Butter. I was stuck, I was stuck on it nut just butter. Take, it takes on a different connotation when you don't add the pea or the almond or the... Yeah, well, it's like know. a mixed nut butter. Is that, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, still mm. sounds filthy. All right. <laughs> uh, number three, how about a tribute to a great artist of the post-war period? I'm talking about Australian Harry Rogers. He made these posters for oh, Qantas yeah. Airlines. Uh, so you can see there, for all the destinations that they fly to, you can get prints of, of these still, and they're not crazy expensive. Um, lots of sizes, and usually under 200 bucks. They're cool. Yeah, those are cool. 200 bucks seems kind of expensive for that, i got to be honest with you. It's okay, a Harry Rogers, though. Like that one. You're right, though. It is a Harry Rogers. Is it for a gift? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Harry. All righty. Number two, there are lots of fun tchotchkes out there from Harry Styles, bobbleheads, Spider-Man, bed sheets, but nothing beats the Kiss uh. Casket. Mm. Yes, that's Casket with a K. Back in 2001, KISS member Gene Simmons appeared at a convention in New York to introduce the casket to fans. It doubled as a drink cooler until the time came to bury someone in it. The inside of it read, KISS forever. The suggested price was 4700 bucks, but that's if fans wanted the signed band version. The unsigned version 
was about $1,000 cheaper. At the time, Gene Simmons said, you can have your last ride with oh. your favorite band, but <laughs> while you're living, you can have a cold one. <laughs> By the way, you can get your own KISS casket. They're still for sale oh. if you look around. Wow. All right, uh, number one, there's a mini trend on TikTok of girls posting videos of a day in the life of a stay-at-home girlfriend. <laughs> Pause for reaction on the set. Yeah, where's this going? <laughs> uh, we'll show you. It's a 24-year-old, or this, sorry, this girl has a 24-year-old boyfriend with a lot of money, uh. apparently. You can judge yourself if this is enviable. Uh, but this girl's video is something. Check it out. Day of my life as a stay-at-home girlfriend. I first did my skincare routine. Then I did some ice rolling and some journaling. And I made the bed. Then Luke and I got out and picked up some celery juice and then went to his favorite latte place. Then we came home and I made myself a matcha latte mm. and checked some emails, replied to some texts. Then I went for a walk to my Pilates studio and made myself some breakfast. Then I did a lot of laundry folding and then I steamed my dress that I'm gonna wear for tonight. Mm took Luke to the gym. Mm. When I came home, I cut up some veggies oh, to snack on. Yeah, huh? And then I heated up some soup for Luke. Yeah. Then I got ready and huh. put my shoes on, saw Seems a butterfly, like a and then we yeah. stopped at this cute wine store, got a bouquet of flowers, then went to my dad's to celebrate his birthday. Huh. Yeah. Boring. Well, you know what? We haven't heard him talk yet either, yeah. so I just, they you know, may be made for each other. I Poor think girl. it's a trend. I think Is it's it? fake, yeah. You think so, so? She, you, think, not, you think she's not really like doing yeah. nothing all day, just pretending that's what her day I is? I think it's like one of those things that everybody's doing on TikTok and making yeah. their own version of it. Is that uh, what you think? I think. Huh. I just worry about her when she turns 30 and he dumps her, which she's going to do. It's 30 well, you know old now? Haven't worked this for, many, haven't worked this many years in my life. Yeah, I got to say, is, yeah. I wouldn't mind sitting on the couch making myself a, a that, high yeah. tea. That would be a big My change. biggest matcha. worry of the day was, oh, matcha, yeah. whatever that is. <laughs> my biggest worry of the day is steaming my outfit and maybe yeah. cutting up some veggies. I, I can, it wouldn't be terrible. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe mm -hmm. my mother should have shifted my goals a little bit. Right. Well, <laughs> Robin, listen, it's never too late to yeah. pursue your dreams. It's yeah. 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 all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dream, my dreams of cutting up veggies and... You still can do that uh, after the shift for dinner. Yeah, 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 it's an option. Oh, that's oh, the night at nine. Oh, boy. Oh.